We all know the company Nintendo, but do we really know all that much about it? You know, they were around way before the first NES came out, and even before the first Donkey Kong arcade game came out. In fact, there was a time when they didn't sell video games at all. They started up in the late 1800s selling cards and toys. In 1972, Nintendo began their work in the video game market. They focused mainly on light gun technology because they had already produced a line of toy light guns a few years prior. Once 1974 came around, Nintendo secured the rights to release their first console, the Magnavox Odyssey. Electronic game of the future. Odyssey easily attaches to any brand TV, black and white or color, to create a closed circuit electronic playground. Odyssey gives you all the exciting action of hockey and 11 other challenging play and learning games for the entire family. Odyssey, a new dimension for your television. Now at your Magnavox dealer. He's listed in the yellow pages. Next, in 1975, Nintendo released their first arcade game, EVR Race. Two years later, in 1977, Nintendo partnered with Mitsubishi Electronics to release the color TV game machine 6 and 15. The number is what dictates how many games were stored on the system. In 1981, Nintendo released their most famous arcade game, Donkey Kong. Most people would consider this Nintendo's origin. And this leads us into the NES era. In July of 1983, Nintendo released the Famicom, the family computer. Unfortunately, it was shipped with a faulty chip and had to be recalled from shelves, leading to around a half million lost dollars. Nintendo didn't, didn't quit, though. Two years later, they re-released the Famicom in working condition under the new name the Nintendo Entertainment System, or NES for short. The NES saw games like Super Mario Bros., which holds the record for best-selling video game of all time and 40-plus million, Super Mario Bros. 2 being a reskinned and remastered version of the game Doki Doki Panic, The Legend of Zelda, and Super Mario Bros. 3. As well, during this era, 1988 showed the release of Nintendo's magazine Nintendo Power, and 1989 saw the release of the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. Once 1990 rolled around, Nintendo released the Super NES. The SNES saw some amazing releases such as Super Mario World, The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, Super Mario Kart, Yoshi's Island, and Donkey Kong Country. During this era as well, Nintendo partnered up with Sony to create the Nintendo PlayStation, a disc-based gaming console. For issues regarding how the revenue was going to be split, Nintendo broke off the partnership and repartnered with Philips to make the CDI. There were, uh, there were a couple of Zelda games released on this system, but we don't talk about those. Oh my goodness, this is awful! Ultimately, though, this led to Nintendo virtually creating one of their biggest competitors to date. Released in 1996, the N64 managed to revolutionize 3D game mechanics through the games Super Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time. It also revolutionized first-person shooters through the game GoldenEye 007. You also have other great games like Banjo-Kazooie, Mario Kart 64, and Paper Mario. 
As well, in late 1999, Nintendo tried to release a hardware update for the N64 in the form of a disk drive that could snap onto the bottom of the console. It would give the system a real-time clock, internet connectivity, expansion and rewritability on data storage, and a standard font and audio library. The Virtual Boy was a colossally failed attempt at 3D technology. In fact, it was so bad that I'm not even going to talk about how it only had 22 games, had terrible graphics, wasn't very portable at all, and just all around sucked. The GameCube, however, in my opinion, is the best Nintendo console to date. It's got amazing games such as Luigi's Mansion, no, 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 Paper no, no, Mario no, 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 The no. Thousand Year Door, <laughs> Mario Kart Double Dash, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, and Super Mario Sunshine. The Wii, released in late 2006, managed to modernize motion controls through their use of the Wii Remote. Some of the more popular games include Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, Wii Sports, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Mario Kart Wii, and Super Paper Mario. The Wii U, released in late 2012, introduced the GamePad, a controller featuring a touchscreen right smack dab in the middle of it. The Wii U's best games included Splatoon, Mario Kart 8, Super Smash Bros. Brawl Wii U, Super Mario Maker, Super Mario 3D World, New Super Mario Bros. U, and Paper Mario Color Splash. The Switch, released in early 2017, is the first console to ever combine the ideas of a home console and a handheld console. The Switch has an amazing list of games already, including, but not limited to, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, ARMS, Splatoon, and soon-to-be-released Mario Odyssey. That's all, folks.